CData Sync is an automated continuous replication tool that allows you to incrementally replicate data from more than 250 sources into the most popular on-premises and cloud-based data stores. This video provides step-by-step -step instructions for deploying Sync in the Kubernetes environment, and it lists the tools that you need for that process. To follow along, you can open the article linked in the description. The tools shown are required in order to deploy Sync in Kubernetes. We begin by gathering resources and building a Docker image. For your container, you will need to copy the following items from the Sync installation location. Create a new folder for the container locally. Copy the necessary items, including the web app folder, to the newly created folder. Next, create a file named Dockerfile in the same folder that you created in the previous step. Include the following content in that file. As you can see, we are creating a Docker file and saving it within our main directory. Now to create a database server to use as the application database. Use the login command az login to log in to Azure. Create a database with a unique server name in Azure. The output from this command is the credentials we need for the next step. Add the credentials to the cdata.app.db configuration, which resides in the sync.properties file as shown. Next, Using the Azure storage command, create an Azure volume for the application directory. It is important to note that for better performance, the premium storage type is recommended for locally redundant storage. Use a similar Azure storage command to retrieve the account keys. Save these keys for use in later steps. To conclude step one, create a file share on the storage account. In step two, we are building the Docker container. Build the Docker container with the Docker build command. Run the container on a port that is not already taken with the Docker run command. Confirm that your image is running by opening your browser to localhost. Step three involves deploying the Docker container to Kubernetes. First, create or log in to Kubernetes services on Azure, then log into your Azure account from a Microsoft Windows PowerShell. You should have the Azure CLI installed already. Use the AZ login command to validate this. In your Azure Kubernetes service, navigate to your resource group. Locate the container registry that is inside the resource group. The login server is available inside the container registry as shown. Log into the container registry by using your login server. View images using the docker images command. Next, add a tag in the container registry by submitting these statements, the docker tag command and the docker push command. Navigate to the Kubernetes service in Azure and click connect. Then, Azure displays the commands that must be run in order to connect to the cluster and apply changes. Validate the nodes with the command shown. Create a manifest file of type YAML. Name the file sync.yaml. An example of this file is shown.
Next, deploy this YAML file to the cluster and retrieve the external IP address for the service. You should now be able to connect to sync at an external IP address. And that's everything you need to know to deploy CData Sync in a Kubernetes environment. To get started with CData Sync, visit cdata.com slash sync and download a free trial. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can find more resources at cdata.com.